welcome to the Oxford Dipper training video. The Oxford Dipper is a hydraulically operated patient lift intended for use in swimming pools and similar facilities. Each lift is fully assembled, load tested and certified before being partially dismantled for packing. A number of documents are supplied in a wallet packed with each lift and should be kept safely for future reference. These include a test certificate, a user manual, a dealer guarantee card and a customer satisfaction card. After the socket is correctly installed, remove the rest of the parts from the carton, taking care to protect the finish from damage. Insert the spigot at the base of the mast into the floor socket. The spigot will displace any water in the socket, so caution should be exercised to avoid splashing. Assemble the boom to the mast. Engage the boom and tie rod pivots in the locating hooks at the top of the mast. Still holding the boom in place, insert the boom ram spigot into the top of the hydraulic ram. The boom can now be released. Close the hydraulic unit release valve by turning the knurled black knob on the unit fully clockwise. Note, the release valve requires only minimal tightening to operate and should only be closed finger tight. Do not apply excessive force to the valve knob as this will result in damage to the valve. Pump the handle of the hydraulic unit and confirm the ram raises the boom. Open the release valve fully anti-clockwise and check the boom descends. Note, the release valve is fully open and encounters a positive end stop in less than two full turns of the knob. Close the release valve and raise the boom until it is approximately parallel to the floor. Fully unwind the small T-shaped screw at the extreme end of the boom. Pass the support arm end through the bearing tube at the end of the boom, making sure the safety latch at the top of the tube engages in the grooved end of the chair support arm. The support arm will now be held and can be rotated through 360 degrees. The T-shaped screw, when tightened, will prevent rotation. The lift is now ready for the ranger chair or sling attachment. The chair support arm of the lift has a hook and latch device similar to the one connecting the ranger seat to the chassis. The support arm hook must be engaged with the crossbar at the top of the ranger seat. The latch will engage automatically and prevent accidental disengagement. The seat can now be lifted off the chassis by operating the seat latch and raising the boom of the lift with the hydraulic unit. The seat will be elevated with the boom and the chassis will remain behind. To reconnect the seat to the transporter, lower the seat onto the chassis with the lower safety latch in approximately the right position. The seat will lock automatically as the seat is lowered. When the seat latch is engaged, disengage the latch on the chair support arm and continue to lower the boom. The support arm will drop away from the seat and can be swung away to one side. To raise the boom, ensure the release valve is closed. The valve is closed by gently turning the knurled knob fully clockwise. When closed, pump the long handle with smooth, even strokes for maximum effect. When the seat is clear of the chassis, stop pumping and swing the boom and seat over the water. Lower the seat into the water by turning the hydraulic unit release valve anti-clockwise. Thank you for watching the Oxford Dipper training video.